Hello everybody and welcome back to the Noob with the Brush channel. I am the Noob himself and this week I will be looking through the Warhammer community page for the latest updates on the Age of Sigma stuff that's been released over Christmas. Without further ado, let's start. First up, GW have released a new water pot. Gotta say, it's okay looking. It's looking a bit unfinished, like it just needs to be put back in the oven for a little bit. But, uh... I still prefer the old ones. I got had mine for five, six years. Nothing wrong with it. It still holds the current GW brushes. Easy to clean. So there you go. A new pot if you need a new one or if you just like collecting stuff. Good luck. Also announced this week are two, yes, that's right, two brand new painting handles for your models. One's going to be an extra large for your bigger hobbies, like your dreadnoughts, like they're shown in the box. Possibly your bigger models that I can see by the look, see I can get my Mortax on there. Which would be a new experience to paint a, a big model with just a little handle. And also there's one that's got extra arms in case you like to paint your models in bits like I do so you can keep them all in the same place without forgetting if you've painted a sword or you've left off an arm possibly a leg even so these are going to be really useful for all hobbyists so these are going to be sold out within days that is my prediction that is the noob guarantee let's take a break now from hobby supplies to talk about the new AOS scenery range these box sets coming out. One of them is a Wildwood set. The other one is a Ruined City set. These sets look like they're going to be amazing. Everything you need to fill out your board to make your games extra immersive. I can't speak more highly for these products. We all like to see our boards filled out. So it doesn't just look like a bit of green on the table. Or just even a plain table edge. So... Everybody, I think, will benefit from these kits. But that's not all for the AOS range. Also, they've announced that they're going to be releasing a Battle Force kit. Ideneth Deepkin. I'm not au fait with the, the, the uh, Ideneth Deepkin. But this looks to be an amazing set. Full of character. Only thing he needs is the turtle from Teddy Pratchett's Nightmares. Looks like he's going to be an amazing force. But I could be wrong. This could be a load of rubbish. You decide. Let me know in the comments section, but also guess the price. I'm going to guess it's going to be around about the £125 mark. Because we all know GW would like to give a little extra to their bank account over Christmas. And Christmas with GW is not complete unless you buy paint in a box from them. There's going to be three sets. It's going to be the layer, the base and the A range. I'm not okay with the A range. But I know that the base and layer sets are always fantastic for your hobby and needs. When it comes to the A range, I tend to look to other brands like Vallejo. Because I find they have a better coverage. But each to their own. You tell me about your, your choices in the comment section. And here is the set that have stolen my little noob heart. It's the ultimate hobby box. you got your paints. you got your brushes. you got your hobby handle. You've got your storage boxes. It's all there in one pack, which I will say looks amazing. One thing that they haven't announced yet that we can see in the boxes are the honeycomb holders. They look like storage heaven to me. I'm forever losing paints because I always leave them on a shelf. Or I would leave them in tubs that I always forget where I put. This looks to be the set built for me. Perhaps I'm on my own. Perhaps this is unwanted unneeded but again i would love your comments on these products everything here looks good i would say some of it is probably not for me but i am not speaking for the hobby i'm only speaking for myself so you have got to tell me what you think of these products if you're with me and you think that ultimate set is the set to get you tell me if you think it's rubbish just let me know there's not a net, there's not a wrong comment in my section. So I just love having feedback from him. 
And that's it. Another video over. I'm signing off now because the kettle is calling me. And I shall see you again. Thank you so much for your support. Future content hopefully will be another unboxing video. Also, I'm going to take this time at the end now to apologise for the video sound. I'm doing it off an iPhone. In future, I am hoping to upgrade my hardware. So it's going to be better quality. But still early days yet. So bear with me, people. Thank you and goodbye.